I have been going to CVS these past days. Every time I go, I always see your brand, but I've never tried anything out. And this time I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try out a full face of her brand and maybe I could possibly try out other celebrities' brands out there. I personally grew up watching Spy Kids. That's how I knew about Selma Hayek. I'm sure she's done so many amazing things since then. This one was very convenient because one, it is from the drugstore and two, she actually has a lot of products to do a full face. If you guys have any other celebrity in mind, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's get started. So when the lady was ringing me up at the store, she actually asked me if I really like the brand, and I told her I've actually never tried out any of the products. She did tell me if I didn't like it, I could return all of it. I was like, shook, because I'm not the person to ever return makeup, but when she told me I was able to return everything if I didn't like it, I was like, okay. By the way, her makeup line is called Nuance. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. So the first thing I have here is the Flawless Finish Blur Perfecting Primer with Tepes Kahu White and Ginger Root. <laughs> I don't know what Tepes Kahu White is, but I actually had to Google how to pronounce it because I was like, what the heck? This instantly helps diminish the appearance of pores and fine lines and enhances makeup wear. I would have to say the only thing I'm not liking about the packaging is you can't see how the product looks. I know that's like really weird, like who cares, whatever. Wow, okay, wait. I just notice on the side it shows you which I didn't obviously notice like why would I be like oh it's gonna be on the side when I was getting the mascara I was like how am I gonna know how the wand looks how anything looks and boom like I really didn't notice till now so this is how the primer looks let's go ahead and apply some Ooh, okay oh my god this feels like super soft Wow okay yeah so this is I think mattifying my face and it's kind of blurring the face a little bit. I don't know if it's like literally filling in my pores, but I mean, it's doing something. It's very soft for sure. So I do like the way it's making my face feel. Yeah, it kind of is filling in the wrinkles a little bit. So I think I do like this. It did work out for me. It did fill in my wrinkles. It filled in my pores a little bit. It for sure made my face a lot smoother. So next, the foundation. This is a flawless finish liquid foundation. Minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines while delivering a radiant glow. That's exciting. I got mine in the color light warm. I've come to realize that the CVS that I go to really doesn't have a variety of different skin tones. So it might just be the store. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's like thick. It's not gliding all over the place. Okay. It does feel like super lightweight on the face. It has like a vanilla color, a vanilla color, a vanilla scent. I'm kind of thinking maybe this is too white for me, I don't know. So I like the way that it's blending out. I don't know why I'm getting like this. I almost feel like it smells kind of like coffee too. That is so weird, I know. I think this is like a little lighter than my actual skin tone, which is not a problem. I can always fix that with like bronzer and stuff. But I am noticing it is kind of filling in my pores. It almost looks like it's drying to kind of a matte finish. I really like the way that this is covering. So it's not like a full coverage. I would say it's medium coverage. So far, I like it just like this. All right, so, so far I do like the foundation. Let's move on to concealer. I'm gonna be taking the Flawless Finish Naturally Luminous Concealer with Tepes Coite. Fully covers dark circles so skin looks radiant. So I'm assuming this is a full coverage concealer and I got this in the color light. Ooh. So it has this like, it kind of reminds me of the Age Rewind by Maybelline. Oh, this is so cool, it's like a pen. Oh, there you go, the product is coming out. Slowly but surely. So now we have some product out and we're gonna pop this. Wait, what the heck? Wait, was I supposed to shake this up because I'm getting like pure liquid? Huh, okay. Yeah, that's a little better. I just feel like I'm getting most of the liquid part. I don't know if this is gonna be full coverage though. I've already shaken it up and it's still coming out like this. It's giving me like medium coverage. It actually looks a lot better than I thought. I don't think it's full coverage. I thought it was gonna feel like really greasy because of all the liquid that was coming out, but it does not feel bad at all. I'm trying to layer the concealer. I don't feel like any more product is coming out. Let me lean it down. Maybe that's what I should be doing. 
Well, see, now more product is coming out. I actually like the way it's drying up, but I just think the packaging and everything could have been different. I'm kind of struggling trying to take the product out. Next, I'm gonna try out the Flawless Finish Velvety Smooth Press Powder with Argan Oil. This is long wearing, ultra creamy formula, blends evenly for flawless matte coverage. I'm all about my coverage, I'm excited. And I got this in the color light. Let's swatch it a little bit. Damn, that actually looks like really good coverage. Oh wow. Okay, so the coverage is really there though. I like that. I really like this powder. I love this. I'm gonna use this as well to set my under eyes. Holy crap, this is very full coverage though. Like, And we're also gonna apply this on the eyelids. I see myself using this a lot. On to the bronzer. I got this Flawless Finish Illuminating Blush and Bronzer Duo with Argan Oil. Oh no, I actually got a contour and illuminating duo. I think this is like a cream formula. <sighs> I should have done this way before. But it comes with a contouring shade and a highlighter. So I might have to use this. She didn't have like an actual powdered highlighter. We're gonna jump right into the powder. I got this in the color bronze rosewood. They did have like three or four different shades of these. Now this, I'm just gonna bronze my face. I'm not gonna contour because it is warm. Oh wow. I actually really like this color. And this is blending like a dream. And not that I like underestimated her brand, but it's amazing. This is really blending in super nicely. And I feel like the color is not that orange. It's like the perfect in between, not too cool, not too like warm red. Cause y'all know last video's bronzer was a disaster. I do feel like her brand is very underrated. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about her brand and just seeing how amazing it works kind of shocks me. I'm having like no issue blending this in. It's like so, it blends so good. I like that you're able to layer it. It's not like so pigmented to where it's gonna give you like a patchy look. It's very buildable and Wow, it, honestly, I know I've said this already, but it really does blend like a dream. I really like this color a lot. Wow, okay. I'm gonna try the highlighter. Normally, I would apply this before powder, guys, but I obviously forgot. I'm just gonna take this brush and we are going to apply it over. I'm just gonna dab it in there. It's giving a nice glow. Wow. I really wish she had a powder highlighter. She probably does. It is very subtle, you guys. But it is buildable because it's definitely coming out like super pigmented. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna take this long lasting shadow stick and this has chamomile. Oh, I'm so bad at pronouncing things. I got this shadow stick in the color shimmered bark. Let's swatch. <gasps> I wanted to do like a smoky eye today. I don't know. So we're just gonna apply this on the eyelid. All right, so I'm gonna actually blend that out a little bit, obviously. This eyeshadow stick is very creamy, so it's actually easy to also blend out the shadow. And I'm doing this with a flat brush, so that tells you a lot. Wow, that blended out so well. Now I'm gonna take the Endless Eye Effects Shadow Collection, which also has argan oil. Also, I just realized her brand is not tested on animals. It comes with a thin mirror up here and also a brush. I'm actually gonna take the bronzer, which has a little bit of sheen in it, but once it's blended out, you really cannot see it. So we're gonna pop this right above. I freaking love this bronzer, it blends so well. I'm really hoping the eyeshadows are the same way. I'm actually gonna take the very dark brown and I'm gonna set like the outer portion of the eye because I am going for like a smoky look. Oh my goodness, do you see that pigmentation? And I'm getting like the smallest fallout. I'm gonna take it like all the way in here and we'll probably put like a lighter color here. Girl, where have you been? I'm gonna take a smaller brush just so I could see if I could blend this color a little bit further out. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that product and just blend. Obsessed, I'm obsessed. I kind of want to take this color right here. It looks so pretty. It's almost like a rose gold bronze. So I want to pop this in the inner corner and kind of diffuse it out. Oh my goodness. The pigmentation of this palette is out of this world. Let's go ahead and take the highlighter. Ooh. 
Let's use this yellow. Oh my goodness, it's so powdery. We're just applying this on the top. It, it is matte, so it's not gonna give it like a shimmer. But it does make a difference. Now let's do the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the eyeliner pencil with Shemomile. I know I'm saying that wrong. This is lightweight, long lasting color and it defines the eyes. Packaging is cute and this is a twist up. Yeah, it's a little lightweight. It could be more black, but I mean, it's still doing the job. I am noticing that my under eye concealer is creasing. I think it could be because I used the face powder under there. It is a little heavy. It does have a lot of coverage. This palette is so good. I just wish it had a light brown. We're gonna go back in with the bronzer and apply this underneath. That way we have a transition color. And then to intensify the lash line, we're gonna take the dark brown. We are done with the eyeshadow. I am loving the look. Time for the lashes. We're gonna take the long and lush volumizing mascara with Cotton Blossom. So it says super thick, super long lashes in a single stroke. So it's just a matte tube. This is how the wand looks. It does leave them a little thicker, which is kind of making my lashes a little clumpy. The brow shades that she had were not dark enough for me. I'm gonna use this dark brown just because it's very dark, so it might actually go. All right, so I think it is a little too warm. Hmm, okay, we're not gonna ruin this look. I'm just gonna take my regular brow product that I usually use, and we're just gonna move on because I feel like this is just gonna ruin the look, and I really like it. All right, guys, so brows are now drawn in. I'm also gonna be applying false lashes. For my lashes, I'm taking these Dragonly Lashes from Nubantin. Nubantin? These are amazing. They're super dramatic. Last but not least, let's move on to lipstick. So I got these two lipsticks. I don't think they're gonna be matte. They're probably gonna be like more of a creamy formula. So I got the color Mystical Mauve. It's a really nice mauve, and I think it's gonna go really well with this look. Baby's Breath Pink, that is so cute. The one thing I do regret is not getting lip liner. It's a lot more bright. I am gonna take the light pink. Maybe we can soften this a little bit. It's very creamy. It almost looks like a legit glossy lips. I actually like the look. I do feel like the lips are a little bright, but I feel like it doesn't look that bad. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This brand is for sure one of my favorites out of the drugstore that I have tried out. I feel like for me, it's really hard to find an actual drugstore eyeshadow palette that is very pigmented. And this one, you guys, is amazing. I love the primer. I love the foundation. The concealer kind of threw me off. I didn't like it whatsoever. I feel like there was no coverage at all and it was just way too liquidy for me. I didn't like that. It kind of like was taking forever to pump out. And for the lipstick, I don't like that it's like too creamy. I feel like it's a little too greasy on my lips. But other than that, you guys, this is an amazing brand and I feel like her brand is very underrated. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Again, let me know in the comments down below what other celebrity that owns a brand would you guys like for me to try out next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!